So this is my radicchio cane, which I've pre-made. And here's the radicchio mold. It's a different shape because it's got the uh, a wider line down the middle and the other lines come from the bottom upwards unlike the uh, cabbage leaf. This is a pre-made cane, uh, one of my used fresh canes but you can make it yourself obviously. Here's some translucent white for the center of the radicchio. This one's a really really simple little vegetable to do. Um, some people call it radicchio. I think it's also known as uh, red endive. So make a pea on a stick sort of shape, but quite small, smaller than a cabbage. It's like a very, very small lettuce. Uh, some of them are less round, some of them are longer, in which case you can just make a longer, you can just squash your uh, leaf down to a longer shape. So I'm cutting thin slices, as thin as possible. I've shown on the lettuce, um, YouTube lettuce, how to cut finely. You can actually cut a different method, which is also shown on the lettuce. Uh, but it's a little bit dangerous, so I'll only explain it here, that you, you keep your hand still and you roll the cane against the blade but you really should look at the lettuce dvd if you want more information about that okay so these ones are quite fine because i have practiced quite hard i i know what i'm doing some of them are finer than others that one's really nice and fine so then you take your leaf and pop it in the mold it's exactly like the lettuce. Important to keep it at the bottom in this one because of the wide white bit. Squeeze it together to release and that just brings it up from the edge and it comes off quite easily. You see how that nice white bit is quite obvious. Once again, right down at the bottom. Good squeeze and squeeze it in to release the, the leaf. You only need three leaves for this, this uh, well, it's like a lettuce, this vegetable, because it, um, it doesn't, it, they don't sell it open, it's more like a chicory. Here's an extra one though, just in case in case we don't get it right. Squeeze it in and pull it off. You don't need any release on your on your mould. In fact, if you do use a release, it stops the, the leaves sticking together, so really don't use one. See how nicely that's moulded. Right, so we take the middle and take one of the first leaves. You, you can use the, the least best one because you'll hardly see this one. Curve it over the, the little pea on a stick. Second one, just add it over um, a thir another third of the way round. And that'll just leave you a very small gap between the two leaves. And then you'll add the third one on over the, over the gap, over the hole. And just curve it around. Gently, not, don't press it down too hard. You want the edge of the leaf still to be sort of crumpled up at the top. Yeah, I think I'm happy with that. Uh, maybe just one more leaf on there. You only need three, but if you're not happy with the way it's come out, you want to see those white bits really firm, really clearly. And then just chop it off and bake it. 
there we have it.